Hello and welcome back uh, to another video about the building system tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create the snapping system behind this or behind the foundation and yeah let's start with it. So oops. so we got our foundation in our, um, our editor mode now. Uh, just drag and drop it from the prefabs folder and we need to take it as a foundation. I've already created this tag just edit and create empty game object which is called collider and now when we want to so actually we have our foundation when we place it and we drag and drag it near to this other foundation we want to snap it so actually it's just exactly uh, between uh, exactly um, at the other foundation so for this we need four foundations uh, I call them north south east and west foundations and we just create one for this now uh, col uh, foundations north east south west colliders not foundations and we got this collider here now we add a box collider and as a uh, added as trigger we need it for a code later so uh, it, it, it is very important to take this as is trigger because we actually work with uh, with the on trigger enter uh, function and now we need to scale this box collider which we have added to 0 0.2 and 0 0.75 and I'm gonna add this there actually it's 0 0.66 and we duplicate it three times for each side I'm gonna call this collider minus east the next one should be collider minus west the other one collider minus north and the last one collider minus south now we position them east should be there it's minus six the north should be there on the top that's zero and this should be Oops, 0 0.6 and the angle has to be different 270 and south is minus 6 oops minus uh, uh, 0 0.6 6 and 0 and the angle should be 90 yeah perfectly so um, now every collider needs to have a tag. Uh, uh, have a tag. So I actually, I've created these four tags: East Collider needs East Collider tag, West, and and so on. Don't forget it. And South Collider. Uh, the foundation needs a rigid body, which is kinematic, no, um, and take the use gravity out, and then you should be fine apply this to, to the prefab on the r uh, top right side and now we need our foundation script or foundation collider script foundation collider script so we go to our colliders here and add the, the, the script otherwise we forget it later and now we take uh, and go into our script Okay, the first thing which we have to do is we're gonna add our void on trigger enter function, which is given from Unity. And we only want, uh, we're gonna create here the snapping ability, ability, and we only want to snap when we are building. So actually, when building manager um, is building is true. And we only want to snap this, um, this. Uh, this game object which is triggering uh, when it is a foundation so we ask if it is a take of foundation and we only want to um, we only want to snap when this game object which which is colliding with our object is already uh, placed we don't want to snap when when we are moving with the other game object uh, so actually when there's a placed game object and we are moving and we are colliding we don't want to snap Actually, we only want to snap with a which which uh, with a already yeah, placed game object. So we ask if uh, the foundation script is already placed. So we need to get our foundation script. It's transform.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent.parent
get component foundation and yeah for this we need to, to set this boolean as public otherwise we have a problem save it and it should be fine yeah, perfectly okay the next thing which we need to do is um, the problem is when we collide with the other game object or let me show you this or let me do this on a different way we firstly need to n to do now some math so actually when the game object is uh, colliding with the other game of uh, when the other foundation is colliding we want to check if um, yeah not check but we want to know if it's already snapped or so actually we ask in our in our in our if condition um, if the other game object is already snapped uh, for this we s just take our foundation script and we need a new boolean which is uh, called is snapped and we only want to snap when it's not already snapped so actually uh, public bool is snapped so and we only want to uh, move the game object um, further when yeah when it's snapped with the other foundation we don't want to move further uh, only when probably later on a, a other different condition actually maybe when we move the move the mouse in a different uh, amount of uh, pixels so that we can uh, probably replace it on a different way when we are we'd, when we didn't uh, left click on it or something like this um, for this we say um, only if it is not snapped and save this here okay when we've done this we need to do some math and for this we need our size of the foundation uh, we just create vector 3 dot foundation uh, size of foundation and we take our size of foundation with transform dot parent dot parent get component we need to take the collider bounds bounds dot size and then we have our uh, the size of the game object is saved it only works f with um, with a cube which has for uh, yeah which has um, the same length of e each size so actually uh, every size has to be s uh, the same si uh, same size uh, has it has to be the same length otherwise we get some problems so we save this here. Actually, there's no, there's no fault. And now we need to do some, some things. So we say when it, when it is, uh, when it's colliding, we say that uh, the other game object uh, is snapping. So we need to the uh, the script, and say, oops, is snapped as true. And we take our the size of the foundation I take it once so I don't call need to call it more times size uh, oops, z size of foundation dot z okay now we need our switch case and we say if this transform dot take uh, equals to case west west found uh, west collider Oops, with collider. Then we say that the other transform the position. So actually, the other the other foundation is equals to a new position. Parent dot parent dot x minus the size of this one zero. Transform the position. No, transform the parent parent dot position. That's that. And need a no break. And this is exactly the same, just with, with plus for. Oops, I need position here. Position.x x for the east collider. So I only need to copy paste it. East collider. And say plus. Now we need this for. Oops, our north and south part. Case north, oops, north collider. 
other dot transform dot position is equal to me vector three transform dot parent dot parent dot position dot x zero and transform dot parent dot position dot z plus the size of z and break it out and uh, now we need the same just with minus for south save it and this should be it just let's test it with our second foundation just and you see it snapped and when I press now again with here snaps again and here uh, sometimes needs some more time that snaps there um, all colliders are right west east okay and this is the snapping system yeah the next step we which we're gonna do is um, we're work so actually you see that when we are snapping now uh, the problem is yeah, we cannot uh, just take it back uh, and we did not place it at the moment so actually when we want to m to replace it probably uh, we want uh, we need to move it back to our mouse so we're gonna do it in the next step of the video I hope you liked it uh, please follow me on Twitter and Facebook and probably like my video if you liked it and yes yeah, you to the next video bye